So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can bring your model from blender to the substance painter so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial so here you can see guys here i open my substance painter and here you can see this is the same table uh, which is i've imported from the blender and here you can see these are some uh, individual layers and i will also talk about how you can how you can create these individual layers and i will also talk about uh, uh, how you can bake your model before doing the texture because if you guys are little familiar with this substance printer so you know that if you have to do any kind of texturing so before you have to do bake your model then you can do texturing so in this part we'll only just talk about how we can bring the texture from the blender to substance printer how we can bake our textures okay and in the part 2 we'll talk about how we can do the texture something like this and maybe more than uh, this so now let's start the tutorial so here you can see guys this is my blender and here i have created this uh, table model okay so before importing any kind of model uh, from uh, blender to the substance printer you need to unwrap your model so here you can see guys i have already unwrapped my model something like that if i will go to my uv editing section so here you can see these my unwrap of my tables okay i have already divided my table into the three parts here you can see okay now we have to just uh, give the name each and every parts then we can just import our model from blender to the substance printer so for giving the name to our uh, model so you have to just go to your material section from here and here you have to just choose one part of your model uh, right now i'm going to select this lower part of this table and i'm just going to create a new material something like that and here I will just change the name as a lower part something like that yeah and uh, same thing I will do with the other uh, parts as well so this top part I will select I will create a new material and I will just uh, set the name as a top part something like that okay then I will just select this iron part here you can see I have just give this iron material of this part so for that I will just give the iron part iron part and finally I will just give those bolt name as a bolt okay you can just give the bolt something like that so now we are ready to import our file from the blender to the substance printer so right now here you can see you can just recheck your all names before importing your file yeah so now i'm just going to export my this model from the blender so so i will just go to the file and i will just export it i will export as a fbx you can export as a obj as well okay export and fbx and here i will just uh, save this name as a table 01 because i have already one table file i'm just going to export it okay so after that you have to just go to your substance printer and here you have to just enable and uh, open a new file so when you open a new file you will get something like that so first of all it will ask to the that uh, file so i'm just going to select my that file from the here this is the table 01 file i'm just going to open it and after that here you need to do some settings so first of all it will ask your document resolution so right now i'm just going to take this resolution 2k and if you want to decrease and increase your uh, resolution your document resolution so you can uh, do it later as well okay and normal map format i'm just going to keep it direct x and don't need to change any settings just do it okay and right now it will ask to the save the file so i'm just going to do discard and here you can see guys our model is imported okay very nicely and everything is looking good and here you can see from the texture set list we have all layers which is we are given the name in the blender okay. okay so right now if you give any kind of texture to on your objects so it's not going to be a uh, show because uh, before adding the any kind of texture you need to do uh, bake your texture so how you can bake your texture so i'm just going to show you so for that you have to just go to your texture set list from here okay and i'm just going to spread this little bit more so you can see easily okay so from here you have to just click on the bake mesh map and when you click on the you will get the new dialog box new window open and here it will ask you which uh, map you want to uh, bake basically 
so right now we don't need id okay and we don't need position and everything is looking fine to me and from here you can uh, set the your texture resolution so right now i'm going to take the 2k because 2k is fine to me and everything is fine then you have to just click on the bake all texture set when you click on the it will going to uh, bake your texture it will take a little bit time it's depend your uh, system configuration so here you can see guys our baking is done and here we get the all map which is we have select on this uh, texture set list we got a uh, normal map what space map ambient occlusion curvature everything we got it by the way okay so right now we are ready to do the texture in our model now okay so if i will give you some basic idea how you can uh, add the texture so i'm just going to do my smart material section and uh, from here i'm just going to add one wood texture on it so here you can see so this is very yeah so here you can see it's apply very nicely and if you want to see your uh, uvs so you can see from the here these are uvs and these are of 3d model okay so it's looking very good and that's how you can import your model from the blender to the substance printer and in the part two we'll uh, talk about how we can do the how we can start the texturing in substance printer if you guys are beginner if you don't know more about the substance printer so how you can uh, texture your basic and first model with the help of the substance printer okay so that's it for this tutorial guys mm -hmm.